Hello, I'm Agnes Perry. I'm the principal here at Michael E. DeBakey High School for Health Professions. I would like to give you some information about our school and our program. Please um, will give me a few minutes and I'll share my presentation with you. DeBakey High School has been in existence for approximately 50 years. Uh, we've done extremely well over the 50 years, and I'd like to give you some background information and so you have an idea of what we've done, how we've done it, and how we have been successful. I would also like to give you some information so you will know if this is the school you would like for your child to attend. Uh, here is a picture that was drawn by architectures uh, showing uh, what the school would look like. We were part of the 2012 bond through HISD, and through the bond, DeBakey High School was uh, named as one of the schools that would receive a new building. Uh, DeBakey High School for Health Professions was the first medical high school in the Houston area and also within the nation. We were established in 1972 through a partnership between Houston Independent School District and Baylor College of Medicine. We have maintained about 49 years of academic excellence. We're in, uh, beginning our 50th year and we'll be celebrating 50 years uh, in 2022. Our current enrollment is about 895. We have a diverse population of about 31% Asian, 27% Hispanic, 18% Black, 20% Anglo, and 4% other. The students that attend our program attend from all parts of the Houston Independent School District boundaries. We are centrally located, but our students come from the north, the south, the east and west areas of Houston. DeBakey High School is also a Title I designated school. What does that mean? About 43% of our students are classified as low socioeconomic uh, status. Now, what, what does that mean for us, for DeBakey? Uh, that means extra funds. What we do with the funds is to provide tutorial services for students uh, after school, before school. Uh, we pay you some of the funds to uh, pay teachers uh, an extra stipend in order for them to remain after school to help students. It also, uh, Title I funds also provide us extra resources for our students uh, when, with, in, within the regular instructional day. Now, let me give you a profile of our school and let you know that uh, we have, an, we are an accredited institution school and uh, we've been accepted by most major high school uh, colleges and universities. First of all, uh, we have been recognized most recently over the years, but most recently nationally, state and locally. Uh, the U.S. Department of Education uh, awarded us the 2018 National Blue Ribbon School Award. This is a, about the third time we've received this award. U.S. News and World Report in 2021 uh, recognized us as the number two high school in Houston, the number six high school in the state, number 46 in the nation, number 18 magnet, and the number 12 STEM school. Now that's pretty good. Uh, because they're looking and evaluating thousands of high schools uh, in the nation. So to be ranked so high in each of these categories uh, is really impressive. Uh, Children's at Risk is a nonprofit organization that's located in the Houston area, but it also ranks schools within the state of Texas. For about 15 years, DeBakey High School has been ranked number one high school in Houston. So we're also very proud of that uh, recognition. Texas Education Agency, TEA, which governs all of the public high, public schools in Texas and some charter schools, have uh, uh, declared that DeBakey has always met or exceeded the standards by the state of Texas. Niche is another nonprofit organization, but it's a nationally known organization. They have, in 2020, they recognized us as the number two high school in Texas. And in 2021, we were uh, recognized as the number fifth best magnet, the number six best public high school, and the number six best college prep program. So that is also some great recognition that we enjoy. 
Now, there's uh, our curriculum really stands out uh, as being different, more demanding than most high school curriculums. Our students, when they graduate in four years, will have completed 32 credits, including five years of math, which will also include an AP calculus, five years of science, including an AP science such as AP physics, AP chemistry, or AP biology. All of our students take health science each year, beginning in the ninth, ninth grade, and all of our students complete three years of a language other than English. Currently, we offer Spanish and French. And one other component of our graduation requirements include all of our students must complete a minimum of 100 volunteer community service hours. Now, our school is both a career and technology program, formerly known as a vocational program, and we're also a college prep program. We're a career in technology because we have medical professions, professionals here on our campus teaching the CTE courses, and our students also go into the Texas Medical Center to have hands-on uh, training and experiences. We're a college prep program because of our curriculum includes a lot of uh, advanced courses for our students to take in order to be, pre be prepared to go to college. We have approximately 14 Houston ISD advanced courses. Now, previously, these courses were called pre-AP, but the Houston Independent School District has changed the labeling of the school of these advanced courses to Houston ISD advanced courses. Our students also have about 22 advanced placement courses that su that's supported by College Board uh, for students to take. At the end of the school year, in May, students can take an exam, and if they make a score of three, four, or five, usually that credit, that score is uh, accepted as credit towards college courses. So that's why we're uh, considered a college preparatory program because of our curriculum and our preparation of students for college and university study. Now, when it comes to extracurricular uh, option, um, our school does not offer any UIL sports such as football, track, swimming, tennis. Uh, we own a small space of land, and our program was never meant to be a comprehensive high school with all the athletic opportunities uh, that students have at their home school. One reason is because of the small plot of land that we have, and we don't have the facilities for many sports. Our, st our school does offer intramural athletic opportunities. We have a gymnastics program. We're the only gymnastics program, a high school gymnastics program in the Houston Independent School District. We do compete against uh, students in other school districts in the surrounding area. We also have an intramural basketball team and intramural volleyball team. Uh, those students will play uh, form teams on the campus but they'll also play other small uh, schools such as Carnegie or the Challenge High School. So we, you know, the students have opportunities to compete on an athletic uh, level with other students on the campus and also in other small schools. We also have approximately 50 clubs and organizations that students can participate uh, over the years. Uh, they could be a civic uh, club or a social club or a uh, competitive club, they have many opportunities to choose what is a, a good for, fit for them. Uh, we have debate, we have HOSA, we have OLA, we have uh, just many, many different uh, clubs and organizations. And that information uh, is on our website or could be provided if you ever have the opportunity to uh, come and visit our campus and meet some of the students. Uh, some important information about our status here in the district. Uh, we have a daily ADA average rate of 98%. What does that mean? Our students aren't absent. Uh, our students, unfortunately, will come to school when they're not feeling well because they, they love our, our campus, hopefully, and also they don't want to get behind on their assignments. We have uh, all of our students graduate each year. Uh, about 99% of them most years, um, some years, will uh, go to college or university, and about 1%, one or two students may choose to go into the military. But uh, all of our students are accepted into a college or university when they graduate from uh, high school. 
Some of them, most of them will choose to go directly into college or universities, but we may have one or two uh, each year who may choose the military. Uh, out of the advanced placement courses that our students take, about 95% of our students will score three or above on the AP exams. And that's extremely good because when it comes to colleges or universities accepting the exam for college credit, usually they prefer the students to make a three or four or five. Uh, and then that saves you money. The parent, uh, when students can complete courses before they get to the college, that's fewer courses that they'll have to take and pay for in the university. Uh, sometimes our students will enter college and they will be classified as a sophomore because they've taken so many advanced courses and passed the AP exams that they have already received enough credit to be classified as a sophomore. All of our students take the SAT exam. Uh, DeBakey High School for Health Professions average score is 1346. The district average score is 946 and the state average score is 1033. And this is by US News and World Report. So you can always go to that website if you want to verify what I'm saying. So you can see what has been posted uh, for uh, our campus and our students. For the ACT, some of our students will take that uh, college entrance exam. Out of the students who've taken that exam, the average score is 31, which is also good uh, for an SAT score. Traditionally, our students pass all of the STAR exams uh, each year. Uh, they meet the performance uh, requirements, so we're, we're proud of that. Uh, last year, we did have some students who were virtual who chose not to take the STAR. So this December, we're working on um, having those students uh, complete those exams because the STAR exams in high school are required for graduation. The, currently, the class of 2022 uh, had about 30 students who were recommended or nominated for the National Merit uh, Scholarship semifinalists. So that's also a good um, accomplishment. Now, as parents and as students, uh, there are some important facts that you may need to know or want to know about DeBakey when you're making your final choice uh, for your first choice of a school uh, for the next four years. Uh, DeBakey's curriculum focus is math, science, and health science. DeBakey's High School for Health Profession has a fast-paced, rigorous curriculum. All students who come on our campus and are in our program must receive additional immunizations beyond what the HISD requirement is for, because of health science. Our students will be working with health professionals here on campus, but they also go into the hospitals and the hospitals require additional immunizations, such as the flu shot or the pneumonia shot. Uh, more recently, uh, the COVID vaccine. Uh, all of the hospitals are requiring uh, the patients, uh, the uh, workers, any you know, to have that vaccine. So when we're sending students over there, they're going to have to have the COVID vaccine in order to uh, have the experience in the medical center. Uh, all of our students wear uniforms during the school day. Um, 11th and 12th graders wear scrubs and lab coats. And I'll show you a picture in a few minutes of what type of uniforms our students wear. All students take eight classes a semester. What does that mean? Our school is on an AB block. So that means students are taking four classes on an A day and four classes on a B day. Our students arrive at 745 and they leave at 325 each day. All of our classes are 90 minutes long. Now, most students are curious about our homework. All, all of our students have daily homework assignments. Now, how much homework depends on the courses that they are taking? If you're taking regular courses, they probably have one or two hours of homework. If they're taking a lot of advanced courses, the homework will be a little bit more. Um, it could, and it depends on the courses, how many courses and what courses they're taking. So, but I would expect at least an hour or two for minimum for all students. What I do want to emphasize is that uh, there are some students who will come to our campus thinking that they want to go into medicine. They would like to be a pediatrician or a veterinarian or a surgeon. Uh, many times just by going through our program, it helps clarify what 
uh, career choices students are interested in pursuing. Well, we can guarantee you that once your child leaves our program after four years and they enter college, no matter what their career choice or their undergraduate choice is, they will do well because of our um, program, uh, the curriculum, uh, the expectations that we have of students here, uh, the students really do well in the university studies. And finally, uh, DeBakey High School is a safe environment. We have a very diverse group of students and staff. We don't always agree, but this, uh, it's a good environment. People can discuss differences and they get along pretty well. Now, this is a building of our, the, a picture, an actual picture of our current building. Uh, this is a five story building. We're located near South Main and Holcomb. Everything that we do happens in this building. If you'll notice to one side of the building is a parking lot and the other side is a driveway. We have very little land area, so that's why we don't offer football and track and tennis. We don't have the land area. Uh, the very top of this floor, fifth floor, is the gym, a full-size gym. On the other side is a theater, an orchestra room, and a visual arts room, an art room. In the very top, there is an open patio where students uh, will relax, um, eat lunch, and there are patios on each floor, is, and it's also on the first floor on both sides of the building. So everything that happens at DeBakey happens in this building. This is a, a picture of the interior of DeBakey High School. The very bottom is the cafeteria. This is where students mingle in the morning and during lunchtime. There's also a view of the patios on each floor, and at the very top is the patio, the gym on one side, and the uh, fine arts rooms on the other side. Uh, this is a typical health science room. This is a dental lab. If you'll notice that this is the uniform that the students wear, khaki or blue bottom, and a logo top, uh, either shirt or sweatshirt. Uh, students, because these students are in 11th grade, they may also wear scrubs, or lab coats, but this is uh, uh, typically what students will wear uh, when they're on our campus. Now, this is a picture of graduates from 2019. They were working on a project, they were in the parking lot, and I love this picture because not only does it show how nice they look in their blue scrubs, but it also so shows the picture of the diversity that we have here on our campus. Now, I am going to show a video uh, which really is um, a lot of slides, pictures. Uh, it doesn't show all of the activities that we have, uh, have here on campus, but it shows pictures of some of the activities. Last week we had a, uh, the last week of October, we had a fall festival and we had a dance. It was the first big event that we've had for a while and the students were very excited and it went real, really well. We only invited DeBakey students uh, because of safety issues. Uh, but the students, uh, I think, really enjoy themselves. So let me click on this video, and hopefully you can get an idea of what fun things, uh, social things that our students participate in. This is our mascot, a viper. So it's a pretty form formative creature, uh, but we do have a mascot. And of course, blue is our color. 
So what I'd like to do is share some uh, contact information. This is the address, the web address for DeBakey High School. Uh, I would recommend that you do go to the website. If you go to it, uh, academics and then admissions, you will get a lot of information, additional information uh, to explain what our schools like. Uh, you could go through the website anywhere you'd like. Uh, there's also a link to the PTO website. Uh, our PTO is very active on our campus. Supports, uh, they support our students and staff. So we're proud of that. Uh, the DeBakey website will have other videos uh, that you may be able to enjoy to get more information about our our culture, our climate. Uh, if you have not submitted your application for uh, the magnet program, any magnet program, we're recommending that you go to hisdchoice.com and the, the application and the process will be there for you. Also on our website, DeBakey's website, there's information on the process for applying to a magnet school. Remember, uh, the deadline now uh, is December, I'm sorry, November 18th. So you need to, if you want to be considered in the first round, you need to submit your application by November 18th. Uh, if you go to DeBakey's website, there will be other important deadlines and dates that should help you uh, navigate through this uh, application process. Uh, we on our website, we also have a virtual tour. Uh, here's the link that will be available. So please, if you would like to go and take a virtual tour of our building, it's pretty impressive. Uh, please do so. And uh, if you want to confirm the information I gave you regarding our rankings, I put some of the links to New U.S. News and World Report and also Niche uh, that can confirm where, where we ranked so far as schools are uh, recognized. Now questions, you can always uh, go to the frequently asked questions on the website. Some of the questions you have may be available or may be answered already in on the website. Otherwise, please call our magnet office. The number is 713-741-2410 and we will be happy to answer any questions that you may have regarding uh, DeBakey High School. Uh, thank you for joining us and please uh, stay in touch. Don't forget, applications are due now by November 18th if you want to be considered in the first round of applications.